General Fund reporting for duty. On location at the Lakeland Rehabilitation Center. In a terrible accident, uh, undoubtedly caused by uh, forces of evil, General Fund broke his hip and is beginning to be spending the next couple of weeks uh, in this, uh, this lovely room. And yes, it is uh, just as depressing as it looks. Um, figure while I'm in here, I'm going to move on with uh, my next uh, series of videos. Uh, this will deal with the uh, Fallout board game and the uh, the ups the new set, which is New Vegas. These are the new characters, and uh, going to get to work today on uh, getting these guys painted up and uh, see what we can do with this. Okay, and we're back. Um, here we go. This is the. Uh, it's still a little wet. I probably shouldn't have done that. But anyway, here we go. This is the lone. What's called the uh, lone gunman. And, uh, gave her. She's got kind of a blue dress. With maybe I don't know what those those are. Like kind of like white bloomers underneath brown boots got this cool cool looking laser gun and I was able to do the eyes and you might not be able to see them but that's always a tough tough thing to pull off for the eyes on there and this is Cogsworth so Cogsworth um, again even more basic uh, just got him pretty much just coated in his silver little detail on his little, his little, what I think are like eye reticles, and then uh, saw I got a little bloody, maybe from dealing with something out in the wasteland. I'm going to uh, darken them up, and we'll see what they look like next. Okay, and here's what they look like after the darkening oil. As you see, that just makes such a big difference on these pieces to do the the Nolan Citadel Nolan Oil Gloss. It's like a miracle thing for these, these miniatures. Brings out all the detail in them and it makes them go from being you know okay to looking really I just think just awesome. And here's our, our lone gunslinger. Okay, next up, we'll move on to our next guys. The uh, our Brotherhood of Steel guy, this um, merchant, this merchant dude, and uh, this uh, some kind of soldier, military guy. Okay, we're wrapping up the video here. Um, these are the uh, the next two pieces. This is a uh, character who is a. I guess he's like another Brotherhood of Steel guy. He's into power armor. Um, got some neat detail on his, his cool uh, laser rifle there. Um, just went with an orange paint and just spotted it up with uh, silver in different spots, rivets, etc. And, uh, yep, that's that guy. And then um, this is the, uh, I think they're, they're describing this character as he's like a, a merchant, some kind of wasteland merchant. Again, I uh, tried to do the uh, detail. Actually, I'll focus for me, maybe. Did the detail uh, on his eyes, which is hard, but it looks really neat whenever you can pull it off. Um, so he's got black boots, brown pants, uh, kind of a red saddle brown uh, for these, uh, all these different little belts with pockets and everything. He's got even a little uh, red, I guess we'd call it a, a maybe like a cod piece. <laughs> and, uh, come on, focus for me, there we go. 
and then uh, he's got he's got white knee pads and then some silver uh, he's got silver um, you know kind of metal uh, shoulder pads and armor and he's holding up a, uh, a thermal detonator and probably either he's assessing it maybe to buy it or maybe to uh, sell it to somebody out in the wasteland so just uh, anyway just about to finish up here we'll just darken these guys up with the uh, Milling oil, and uh, maybe I'll finish. Okay, got these uh, got these guys uh, darkened up with the oil, and as you see, uh, again, brings out a lot of the brings out a lot of detail, cool detail in them. It darkens them up and just uh, highlights all the the really intricate, neat. Little nooks and crannies of these miniatures that are just uh, they're just outstanding and really fun to paint. And uh, okay, that's uh, that's the merchant here, the Outland, the uh, Wasteland Merchant, and this uh, uh, Brotherhood of Steel character. Okay, so that's it. Just want to wrap up the video here. Uh, these are painted. Fallout board game miniatures for the New Vegas expansion. Um, I think they turned out pretty good. Um, maybe this gives uh, anybody watching um, some ideas of you know things that they could do. I hope I hope you can draw inspiration um, from any of my videos in a way that I've drawn inspiration from uh, many great people that I've uh, that I follow and watch on YouTube love the painting community and uh, uh, just in with the message today that uh, uh, you know on Thursday I was had a lot of things on my mind I was thinking about the uh, upcoming YouTube wars that I'm having with uh, Sunny New and with No Limit I was thinking about this uh, upcoming board game uh, party that I have every year uh, kind of looking forward to that and just, you know, all the other little things going on in my life and, uh, you know, in, in a really stupid way, I broke my hip and, you know, here I am in a, in a re rehabilitation facility and a uh, serious setback, but, you know, you got to get up, you got to keep going and uh, you can't, can't let things like that get you down. So, uh, uh, once again... Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back and uh, watch more of my videos again. Thanks a lot. Okay, General Fund back here. Um, wrapped the video, but I realized I had forgotten the character. Uh, this is the NPC Ranger. Um, and there we go, got the blue pants, green shirt. Um, lots of body armor, little uh, helmet thing going on. Uh, was able to get the eyeballs in there. Yeah, if you could see in there. Yep, yeah. and um, turned out looking pretty good. I'm gonna darken, darken this one up, and it'll be all done. All right, and here's here's the finished look of the Ranger here uh, with the darkening oil. As you can see. As always, brings out a lot of the the detail uh, in the in the miniature. Always makes a big difference, and such a small thing makes a huge difference. So there you go. Uh, bonus to the end of the Fallout board game, New Vegas expansion, painted miniatures. Thanks for watching.